presented by Evo Shield. Eddie Seymour softball complex in Clearwater for our top 10 matchup, Stanford and Texas. Full count. One down. Two down. Couple of K to start the day. Got her. Three up, three down. And draws the lead off walk. <laughs> so we had a redo. We had a redo. We had a redo. <laughs> Redo it. Mia Scott gets the start at third base, drops down a beauty of a buck, safe at first. Two on with nobody out. Team 200 for the freshman. I mean, obviously, is it, everything's a new experience for her. Situation to try and get her to move runners here. Texas to a 3 0 lead. And you know, just sometimes when you don't get the butt down, you think I'd better find a way to do something in this situation. And she does. She sends this yard. Yeah, and this is two strikes. Change up. I love if she knew it. I mean, as soon as she hits this, just go ahead and stop and watch this thing get into that night air. But a change up down in the zone, and because she simplified, sometimes those are the best swings to be at the ball as far as that. Second home run of her young career, just outstanding. Ball for to Atwood. Here's a powerful stroke. to the Shriners Children's Clearwater Invitational presented by Evo Shield Softball tonight. Texas, six trips to the Women's College World Series. There's a base rip up the middle. They're gonna hold up the runner at third. Leanne Good, 1-0 pitch. Runner goes, they will throw down to second and get the out and hold out Wood at third. Big swing and a miss. But the three run home run. You're referencing the other good looking kid right there. <laughs> a relative on of some yours. Goldfish. <laughs> Strikeout looking four straight to start the talent. She's working with Joe Carl as well. And they'll break through with a base hit here for Emily Jones. And then throws the off speed at her for strikeout number five. Freshman. It's like a rise ball kind of going away from her barrel. Does a good job of getting extended on this pitch, and it is no doubt out of here. Right underneath the scoreboard. How about that for your first home run? Her hands in the air. Go get her that ball. She's going to remember that one. A lot of times for hitters, you just want to really think of barreling it up. The pitcher is supplying all that velocity, high 60s, low 70s. Ball has been jumping off the bat here. Wow, she strikes out the side again, but uh, in between the K's. Over baseball, and it has worked its way into the core of softball as well. You got scouts on everything and everybody. As Henry goes down, swinging one down. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. 
So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kraus, three straight strikeouts for... Gets it that time. Three up, three Ks, three down. For... Pops up. Mia Scott's there, one down. Impressive. Swing and a miss. Tegan Kavan already now with a seventh strikeout for a yeah. two years ago in that super regional battle. 2-2. Two -two. Strikeout number eight for Tegan Kavan. Chops that to second. Ooh, took a funny bounce handled by Kern. One down. Hey, Sunday on ABC. That phase her. Well, remember earlier in that at bat, she was given the bunt signal and did not get the bunt down, <laughs> thankfully for Texas fans. Coach White keeps Kitty Stewart in that three hole, hitting only 200, having Atwood protect her. Oh my goodness, there goes another one deep into the night and gone. Two run shot, Reese Atwood. That's a Texas home run. Look at where this pitch is located. I mean, this is an 0-2 pitch. The first two pitches, they came in on her hands. I mean, like, inside. Then they go off speed away. But look at Atwood. I mean, she's starting to get into her front side, but stays back enough. You see her back knee drive down to get to this pitch, stay with this pitch. She's so strong to be able to hit that pitch out. Both home runs on change-ups, and I love that. Power fo following power. Runs we've seen today alone. Pitches just a little bit too much over the plate. Not a bad idea to go change up away, but. Knocked down by Krause, she'll get the lead out at second. And that's it to a national championship contender, and by the end of the year, they were just that, played in the championship series. Another base hit here, Leanne Good. Oklahoma, that's gonna be a fun Big 12 series. Another deep ball, and that one will clear the wall. Pitch is up and away, and Caden Henry, who had showed some short game earlier in this at bat, ends up just staying in there. Listen to that sound. Texas on a tear. This is just typical Texas style. They figure out a way to get on. Effectively wild at times. Hit the Rolling Stone sign mm -hmm. there. Chase the rise to end the inning, but it's been hard to lay off the Kavan rise ball that runs up and out of the zone. Fly ball to center. Dayton will take it. What can help set those rise balls apart? Maybe look down, look off. There's a punch out for Kavan. Two down. Fly ball out to Bella Dayton again in center. And a one, two, three inning for Kavan. Eight, two, Horns. And she's able to draw the walk to lead off the bottom of the fourth. Been a spark plug for this Texas team. Back to back walks. So that very important 10th run of the night, at least not yet. <laughs> Fly ball out to left, Chan under it. Runners will have to hold. One down with Atwood coming up. One, two. 
Got her. Second strikeout for her. Uh, Gonna stay in play, yes it will. And Gall's got it at first, so a couple stranded. Two two. Right down the pipe. That's a little yeah, information. Wonder what kind of smooth smooth as Kavani. Strikeout for Simpson. Two in a row. Off the end of the bat. That's going to be trouble. Got to hurry it short. And the throw over to first from Vivia's in time. Three up and three down. There's a game at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Make sure you check the Clearwater Invitational website for all the latest info. The backstop. <laughs> hey, it's part of it. Effectively wild. Yeah! Boom. Just like that. Going upstairs again for her third strikeout. Two down. She's just senior day. Couldn't miss. There's a deep fly ball. Back that one goes and off the scoreboard. It's Caden Henry's second home run in her last two at bats. Henry with their second long ball of the night, second in as many at bats, and the freshman just going yard. Look at the way she just turns on that. Very quiet with her lower body, no step, but just great rotation, great extension with those hands and that ball. You can hear it off the bat, and you can hear it off the scoreboard. A home runs. Stay in the yard, caught on a warning track by Emily Jones. 11 runs, thanks to balls that have left the yard. Oh, what a movement on that. And now eight of the nine in the order have been struck out. One down. Strikeouts tonight. And a walk here to Kern. Don't forget Sunday on ABC, undefeated. This is the first base runner for Stanford since back in the second inning. We've got multiple games going on at the same time here at the Eddie Seymour Complex. What else we got? A strikeout for Simpson, two down. Meanwhile, it's Ali Kaneshiro batting for Stanford on the left. Nowhere to go for Simpson. Runners on the corners now for the card with two outs. To stay informed about whether or not we'll be able to play all day long tomorrow and when your team might be on, come back over Simpson. No damage done. 9 2. Corners. Reduces the pop up. Going down. And it's senior. Whitaker. And there's a base hit, gets through the left side. Mailer tried to barehand, really the only place she could attempt. There's moving. Rub them together. Oh, she. Oh, it. wow. Oh. And takes a look at strike three. Got under it. Shallow left, converging, and the catch is made by Emily Jones. Last chance coming up as we head to the seventh for the card. They're the only remaining player in the lineup that has not struck out tonight. And she'll keep it that way. Nice snag, though, at second. Washington wow. robs a base hit, one down. How about Alyssa Washington? I love the way she, look at where she's at. And she sees immediately, she has that hop like we see we tennis players a lot of times, so she can break in either direction. Later. She is so deep into right field going, like, look at that stretch, snow cones it. 
and the turn. When she turns, she settles her eyes. She locks in on first. Two down. Three, two pitch. Ball four. Bade is aboard for the second time tonight. Scott over to first. And there's your ball game. Texas a winner, nine to two over Stanford. They hit four home the runs, Three two of them from Caden Henry. Stanford. And Texas is seven and oh. Stanford falls to five and four. 9 a.m. scheduled first pitch for a few games.